What kind of person comes to mind when I say the word? Chad. 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 Maybe you think of the Chad stride from Devilman. Or maybe you think of the Body Improvement Club and their endless quest to get swole. Maybe you think of Johnny Bravo offering to show a woman his chest hair, even though he doesn't have any. You wanna see my chest hair? There are many different types of Chads out there, and it can be easy to get lost in the amount of cunt rippers and powerlifters of the world. Which is why I, a guy who literally has thousands of Ahago faces downloaded onto my computer, am here to guide you through the hierarchy of anime Chads. Alright, first up is the beta chat. You ever wonder why the guy who gets a little harem of women to follow him around religiously decides to run away whenever things start to get a little too spicy? It's because of something called chad energy. Chad energy is what makes a chad a chad. It's a natural born ability to tear up mad crease and make other non-chads either follow you or despise you. Beta chads are born with natural chad energy, but either don't know how to use it or are afraid of their abilities. You see, chad energy doesn't only attract regular women, it also attracts the beta chad's natural enemy, the thought. A wise man once said, if she breathes, she's a thought. As a beta chad, this is the safest way to think. A thought is an elusive but extremely deadly type of female that can sense chad energy and feeds off of it. Most of these thoughts reside strictly in hentai, preying on the vulnerable eyeless beta chads that reside there, but every so often a powerful hunter thought will cross over into anime, seeking the giant succulent eyeballs of an anime beta chad. I think the best example of a beta chad would be Kama from God Only Knows. Kama is at the peak of beta chatitude and has actually found a way to almost entirely eliminate his chad energy by instead focusing it on dating simulation games. Using his chad energy this way, Kim has become the best dating sim gamer in the entire world and manages to find a sense of pride in conquering these virtual women, while at the same time feeling that he is safe from ever being hunted by a thought. This would be the ideal for a bit of Chad, but soon a powerful hunter thought manages to sense Kama's Chad energy and captures him. What ensues is a cycle of thoughtery where Kama is then forced to use and grow his Chad energy by seducing his fellow classmates one at a time. This is a high level thought ability, known as a self cuck where a thought seemingly gives up their own prey, only to make their chad energy stronger as a result. You can see beta chads is sort of like the abra of the chad hierarchy, because their only real ability is to run away. Shawty wanna fuck Shawty likes it rough and she's got a big the Alpha Chad, otherwise known as a piece of shit, is a type of Chad that has recognized their Chad energy and has decided to use it for their own gain. At this level, Alpha Chads can manifest their Chad energy like a thick layer of intangible mucus that can be spread on items or potential harem candidates. This gives the Alpha Chad access to a number of low-level Chad abilities used mainly to either gather a harem, escape from a thought, or to bang their sister. Excuse me, uh, I'd like to make an announcement. My sister just texted me that she's pregnant. For an alpha chad, a harem is both used for pleasure and as a defense mechanism. Adding women to a harem creates a barrier that hunter thoughts must first pass through in order to get to an alpha chad's delicious eyeballs. However, an alpha chad must first make sure they are not adding a thought to their harem, because once a thought has been added to a harem, it is near impossible to get them out. Some chads take extra precaution to make sure their harem is a no thought zone by adding people like their sister, or their childhood friend or childs. What's she doing here? However, some chads don't take any precaution and just add as many women as possible. Take Makota for example. This chad has been born with a potent chad energy and goes from beta chad to alpha chad in the span of only a few episodes. However, being a fresh, inexperienced alpha chad, Makota makes the mistake of adding a thought disguised as a Stacy to his harem and falls victim to an extremely high level complex thought ability known as cutting his fucking head off. <laughs> Rookie mistake, kiddo. Hey! Now let's take a look at an advanced alpha chad. Here we see a chad that has become so alpha that you can literally see his chad energy leaking out of him. Now wishing to make advances towards his sister, as alphas do, this chad sends a small amount of potent chad energy over to test the waters. Seeing as his prey is not susceptible to such advances, he then decides to engage in the most advanced alpha chad ability seen to date, known as the Kevin McAlphister. However, such techniques do leave Alpha Chads vulnerable, and without his thick layer of Chad energy protecting him, he is stricken down by the next level of Chad.
1986, I'm in the first grade I'm working really hard to get Mario laid I gotta save the princess so he can get the pussy Believe me, Mario will get that ass so fuck Luigi This is Naofumi Naofumi is a fresh alpha chad starting up his very first harem However, being new to the alpha lifestyle Naofumi makes the biggest mistake he possibly can And adds a mega thought to his harem As his first and only harem member Now scorned by the thoughts of the earth And abandoned by the alpha chads He's left to fester in his hatred for thoughts The Omega Chad, otherwise known as a Thought Slayer, has seen the devastation that thoughts bring onto this world, whether firsthand or otherwise. Now harboring hatred for such thoughts, they choose to use their Chad energy for the sole purpose of eradicating thoughts from this world and protecting the eyeballs of all Beta Chads. But the relationship between Alpha Chads and Omega Chads is a complex one. Some Omega see Alphas as fellow Chads who simply need saving before they fall victim to a thought. Others see them as just another thought to slay. At this level, Omegas are able to manifest their Chad energy as physical strength for the purpose of thought slaying. This allows Omegas to gain access to a level of strength never before seen in their respective universe. A good example of a top level Omega Chad would be Jotaro Kujo. Jotaro is a militaristic thought slayer and sees all women as thoughts, even his own mother. So when Jotaro senses a high level alpha chad, Dio, has been taming and using thoughts for his own gain, Jotaro and the rest of the thought patrol travel across the world to stop Dio's thoughtery, slaying any thought or alpha that gets in their way. The life of a thought slayer isn't easy, but it is necessary. His name's Zola, Jika, Samurai, and an LED white knob, he's not shy, Usopp's doing that monster thing. Sanji's cooking, chopper's done. At the top of the Chad food chain is the Supreme Chad, otherwise known as DAMN BOY HE THICK! This type of Chad only concerns himself with how to serve the world. At this level, Supreme Chads gain full control over their Chad energy, and Supreme Chad Conjurers have been seen performing unworldly, never before seen Chad abilities. However, even with such control, many Supreme Chads choose not to use their Chad energy at all, instead of only focusing on what they can do to make the world a better place. Take Oda for instance. This Supreme Chad uses no Chad abilities and hardly releases his Chad energy throughout the entirety of his series. However, due to his Supreme Chad heart, he goes as far as literally carrying his non-Chad friend Tanaka on his back on top of countless other acts of Supreme Chad kindness. Cool. You see, being a Supreme Chad doesn't simply mean conjuring thought barriers or making women orgasm at the mere sight of you. It's about the kindness you show to those around you, because that's where true Chad energy comes from. Kindness. Being a Supreme Chad isn't something you're born into, it's something you have to work on. And I believe there's a Supreme Chad in all of- Wait a minute, did you see that? It was just for a second, but I'm sure I saw it. There! Enhance. Chad energy. The purest I've ever seen. How can a non Chad such as this possess such pure Chad energy? Throughout all my years of research, I've never seen anything like this. Unless. Tanaka. Tanaka is from anime, which was created from the bombings of Nagasaki, of course, which ended World War II. Wait a minute. Who is the Greek god of war? Ares. And who is the main character of the God of War franchise? Kratos, which we all know was released in April. And what else is in April? The International Day of Reflection on the 1994 Rwanda Genocide. That's what which just so happens to land on the 7th. 7 is the exact number of actors in the Japanese pornographic film Chikuri Paisori almost. Except for, of course, Hitomi Tanaka. What's unique about Hitomi? Uh, of course, uh, say it with me. She has Asian descent. And who is the god that is one of the four heavenly kings in Asia, the Kastra, the Kastra, the Dirt Trastra, what the fuck is this? Sarah. And who does he remind you of? Uh, the girl from Twilight, of course, it's obvious when you think about it. And who we all know is the exception to the rule Edward made to never turn anyone into a vampire. Wait a minute only exception. That's a Paramore song. What other Paramore song is the only one in Twilight? Decode. Wait a minute. Decode. It's a message. Tanaka. Anime. Nagasaki. Kratos. April. International Day of Reflection on the 1994 Rwanda Genocide. Seven. 
Chai Curry Pizzeri, Hitomi Tanaka, Asia, The Custoda, Girl from Twilight, Only Exception, Decode. It's all coming together. If we take the first letter of every word and organize them in the widely known and definitely not made up 6243 pattern, we get. Much like the Buddhist monks who live their lives free from earthly pleasures, Tanaka, the one true Chad god, lives among us in plain sight, not giving a fuck about shit and gracing us all with his presence. If you still don't believe me when I say Tanaka is at the utter apex of Chadness, let me tell you a little bit about Tanaka. Tanaka literally does not move by himself, but instead orders the second biggest Chad in his school to move him around. His Chad presence is so palpable that other Chads obey his every command instinctually. Tanaka also gives us clues as to the extent of his Chad powers. For instance, the time where Tanaka is literally able to recognize a woman by her breast size alone. Does this mean Tanaka has a titty catalog of every single woman he's ever met? Yes. Yes, it does. However, it has become clear that Tanaka has surpassed the need for his corporeal human vessel. At this point, Tanaka has most likely become one with his Chad energy, and has passed his own consciousness into it long ago. He is on such a high level of existence that he can no longer form any real connections with normal humans, or even his fellow Chads. In this world, Tanaka is truly alone. If Tanaka wished, he could begin his journey to search the universe in hopes of finding another god like himself, but to do so would mean unleashing his full Chad energy from his vessel, which in turn would cause every woman on the planet to orgasm at such a force that it would create a tiny black hole in every one of their uteruses, destroying our very solar system. To Tanaka, it would make no difference though. He doesn't see humans any different than we see amoebas. It's a mystery as to why Tanaka allows humans to live. Perhaps Tanaka can sense that throughout the universe there are no others like him. Perhaps he slumbers and wait for the end of humanity. We'll never know. All we can do is be thankful to Tanaka. Thank you, Tanaka, for allowing humans to live. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. But most of all, thank you for watching.